It's nearly 4.30 in the morning. I'm on my way back to pass Mountain Loop, uh, Usury Park, and uh, to do my hike slash run. And it feels a lot like Groundhog Day. Haven't we done this before? Well, I am back on the trail. I'm back at Usury Park getting ready to uh, hit the trail. It's about 5 a.m. And uh, I've got to do about 10 miles today. So I don't have a whole heck of a lot of time because I've got some other commitments. And uh, so I'm kind of under a time crunch. So I want to get this done. And uh, it's really, uh, looks really amazing right now. The moon is out. There's no, cold, no not very many clouds. There's, it doesn't seem like there's any clouds. The moon's out. It's pretty bright. Uh, I don't even know if I need, I'm going to need my um, headlamp today. Um, anyways, it's really cool. And uh, I'm getting ready to hit the trail. Okay, well, today is one of those days um, that uh, m my brain just wanted to go faster than my body. Just kind of having an off day. Um, it was really good. I mean, it was, uh, had a lot of fun. I have completed my uh, first about eight miles and I'm on my last mile and a half or mile, a couple miles, whatever. I'm, I'm extending the hike today to about 10 miles. So, yeah, today, today was it was it was good, and it was it was hard. Um, so I I rolled my ankle pretty bad in the first mile. Um, fortunately, I didn't sprain it or anything like that. So I just kept going, and then uh, <laughs> I tripped and almost planted my face on a big rock. And I was noticing how amazing it was when the, the moon was out, just lighting up everything. You could see really, really good. And I'm looking up, wow, that's really cool. And then I almost fell off the trail. Training tip number 21. Make sure you pay attention to the trail, especially when it's dark. So all in all, it's been a pretty good day. And one thing I'm happy about is I had no, no knee pain. I've been... Uh, doing some stretching and kind of rolling out that IT band with a, with a tennis ball. I'll go into more detail about that at another time if you're interested. Let's see, is this focus? And just a little bit ago, I saw a coyote cross the trail in front of me. It's pretty awesome. And then uh, I, oh, oh, there's some deer right there. Let me see if I can get this. I don't know if you could see that or not, but uh, there is a deer right there off the side of the trail. So it's pretty cool. The sun's coming up. I start to see wildlife around here. So the coyote crossed the trail right in front of me. Um, little, pretty cool. And then uh, right after that, I saw some deer. And uh, as I'm on my way back to the parking lot, there was Another deer, I don't know, it's kind of dark. This, I'm filming all this stuff with my iPhone. Um, normally I like to use a GoPro or something, but uh, I just don't have one right now. So I'm using my iPhone for most of it for these videos so far until I can get uh, my hands on a better camera. But uh, so today has been a good day, but pretty kind of a tough day. My, I, uh, my body's a little bit a little bit sluggish, but I'm feeling good overall. I, uh, like I said, I'm happy I don't have, didn't have any knee pain, any IT band knee pain. I didn't get the time, you know, I did not improve my time. In fact, it was a little bit slower than what I was anticipating, but I put in the miles. I put in the miles. Today, it's a little less than 10 miles. I, my plan was to do 10 miles, but I'm gonna be happy with about nine, nine and a half. And uh, I'll put in a few more miles next time. So I'm uh, happy with today's 
training hike slash run and I'm looking forward to you know the progress that I will be making it's it's the beginning of February speaking of training the way I have this set up is I'm basically have each month is like its own training block each week is like its own training block during the week I haven't talked a whole lot about during the week but during the week I'm doing running in the mornings a couple days a week and then I'm also doing uh, go to the gym and hike on the treadmill or run on the treadmill um, at the highest incline for about 30 minutes about 3.6 to 4 miles an hour I think that's what that is but you in the speed is 3.6 and to 4 so I'll change it put it on 4 for a couple minutes then go back down to 3.6 just trying to increase the pace but it's at the highest incline possible because you got to train train your ability to go up hills you got to be able to go up hills because there's a lot of uh, elevation incline a lot of you know there's 11,000 feet of total elevation gain on the Grand Canyon if you're going rim to rim to rim so you just really need to be able to go uphill and you have to be able to do it steadily without getting burned out so you got to train that that's what I'm trying to do and I think that wraps it up for for today <laughs>